Praise the Lord. We've come away from the celebrations of yesterday. Yesterday is gone, but Jesus is not gone. Today we are going to read John's Gospel, chapter 14. John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 22 and 23. John 14, 22, 23. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. There is a distinction. He said, Why won't you reveal yourself to everybody? And that's the issue today. All of the people that claim to have celebrated Christmas yesterday, that is, in effect, celebrate Christ. How many indeed celebrated Jesus Christ? How many indeed can God say belong to me? As the scripture says, God knows those who are his. Does God say you are his own? Does he know you as his own? Jesus says, I won't manifest myself to everybody. But whom will I manifest myself to? The one that keeps my word. I will manifest myself to him. My father will manifest himself to him. And we will come and make our home in that person. The celebration is not enough. Is your body the home of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Are they living in you? That is the question you should ask yourself today. Yes, after the celebration. Some of us went to church yesterday, went to our places of worship, and worshipped him as we claim. Does he live in you? Because that you're worshipping to nothing if he doesn't live in you. If the Father does not live in you, if the Holy Spirit does not live in you. He said, why won't you manifest yourself to everybody? He said, because not everybody obeys me. That is what he's saying here. That whoever obeys me, that is the one that I will manifest myself to. Will God manifest himself to you? Do you obey God? How does God see you? Who are you in the sight of God? The things you do and claim to be right, does God accept them? Is Jesus in agreement with the lifestyle that you have? Although you try to justify yourself. Now, there is something that we need to know. Not one of us will judge ourselves in the end. But we can judge ourselves here. The scripture says, whoever judges himself does not come under judgment. What does it mean? It means that I want to do things, that I'm thinking about things, I want to say something. I look at it, is it in consonance with what Jesus wants? And how do I know the things that Jesus wants? There is the Bible, the scripture. There is the Holy Spirit. Because most people will read the scripture sometimes out of context. Sometimes even in the right context. And bring an application that is out of this world. The devil does read the scripture, but the application is a different thing completely. And most people live like that. And they will tell you, I am backed up by the scripture. That is why you have the Holy Spirit. To tell you, this thing is not right. So we cannot take liberties of not being in line with the Holy Spirit. Of thinking that, well, the Holy Spirit is not really for everybody. He is for everybody. If you belong to that group that says the Holy Spirit has ceased operations, well, sorry, you have lost it completely. Because the Holy Spirit is supposed to live in you. If he ceased the operation, what will he be doing inside you? Because that same John 14 says, the Father will send the Holy Spirit who will be with you and he will be in you. If he has ceased operation, what is he doing in you? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Get back to our fact. If you obey God, he will live in you. And you can be sure that if God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they all live in you. Nothing will go wrong with your life. Would you have a fair share of all of the problems of life? Yes, but one thing is this. You will be permanently victorious. Jesus said, in this world you have much trouble, 
but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world for you. Which means, even in the midst of the deepest and toughest of problems, one thing is sure, you will come out victorious. Lean on him. Behold the lamb that we talked about. Let him be a lamb, not the one in front of you, but the one inside of you. Let the Father be resident in you. Let the Holy Spirit be resident in you. Only you can make it happen. God will not force himself into you, neither would Jesus nor the Holy Spirit. You can make it happen by obedience to the word of God. Let your obedience be complete, and there will be also complete resident in you. Your life will be the best for it. Child of God, my prayer is that you and I and every one of us will diligently seek to obey God and indeed keep his word and commandments that they will take residence in us, that our lives will be wonderful. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.